Hello everyone. In this video, we will study about the relationship of various forces acting on the chip with the horizontal and vertical cutting force from merchant circle diagram. So in my last video, we had studied about a merchant circle diagram. So in order to derive the relationship of various forces acting on the chip, we have to study the frictional force system and shear force system. So first one is frictional force system. Frictional force system. So from here, we will get the relationship of frictional force F and normal to the frictional force N with the cutting force Fc and the feed force Ft. So we will get the relationship between F, Fc and Ft then N, Fc and Ft. So we have to draw the diagram. So this is the axis y axis and this will be the x axis so this is f c cutting force f c and this will be thrust force f t and this will be the resultant r now we have to draw the tool so this is the right surface of the tool so this is the tool and this is alpha so we have to extend the line from the face of the tool from the face of the tool so that will be a frictional force f then normal to the frictional force so this is normal to the frictional force and that will be n so this angle is the friction angle beta this angle is alpha then draw a line parallel to this vector f from this point again from this point then from the origin draw a line normal to these two parallel lines so so this is the figure Then one more construction, draw a line normal to this one from this point. So this is the figure. This is O, A, B, C, D, E, G. Now we can mark the angles. This is alpha. So this angle will be alpha. So if this is alpha, this is 90, then this will be 90 minus alpha. So if this is 90 minus alpha, this angle will be alpha. This is 90. So this will be alpha and this is 90 so this angle will be 90 minus alpha so this is 90 minus alpha this one is 90 so this angle will be alpha and we know that this angle is beta minus alpha 
since this is 90 minus beta so you have derived this from the merchant circle diagram so from here we will get the equation for F frictional force F and N so from figure F is equal to F is equal to O A which is equal to C B O A is equal to C B and C B is equal to C G plus G B C G plus G B and this C G is equal to E D so it is equal to E D plus G B now sin alpha sin alpha is equal to E D by F C therefore symbolize E D is equal to F C sin alpha similarly cos alpha cos alpha is equal to what is B G it is G B by F T symbolize G B is equal to F T cos alpha now substituting these values in the equation for F F is equal to E D plus G B E D is equal to F C sin alpha plus G B F T cos alpha so this is the equation for the frictional force F now the equation for normal force N so N is equal to A B which is equal to O C which is equal to O D minus C D and this O D minus C D is equal to G E O D minus G E now sin alpha sin alpha is equal to sorry cos alpha cos alpha is equal to O D by F C therefore O D is equal to F C cos alpha F C cos alpha similarly sin alpha sin alpha is equal to G E by F T therefore F T is equal to G E sorry G E is equal to F T sin alpha now substituting these two values therefore N is equal to O D is F C cos alpha minus G is F T sin alpha so from this equation you will get the value of N and from this equation you will get the value of F so this is the analytical method so this is more accurate than the graphical method and you know that the coefficient of friction so this is friction angle beta and coefficient of friction nu is equal to tan beta which is equal to F by N 
where beta is the friction angle so next is the shear force system so from here we will get the relationship for fs and fn so for that first we have to draw the figure so this is the y axis and this is the x axis and this is fc fc and this is ft now the resultant r then tool alpha so this will be alpha now the value of phi the shear angle is known from the equation phi is equal to tan inverse r cos alpha divided by 1 minus r sin alpha so from there we will get the value of phi so we are marking the shear force f s so this is angle phi and this is f s now join f s and head of f s and r we will get f n now extend this line and then draw a normal to this line from this point so this is our figure so now draw a line perpendicular to this line from this point this is a normal line now marking the angles so this is phi so this will be 90 minus phi this is 90 then this is 90 and this is 90 minus phi so this will be angle phi and this is 90 and this is phi so this will be 90 minus phi and this one is 90 so this will be phi and this angle is beta minus alpha now marking the points o a b c and d e now shear force f s is equal to f s is equal to o a which is equal to ob minus ab ob minus ab which is equal to ob minus ab is equal to cd ob minus cd so fs is equal to ob minus cd now sin phi sin phi is equal to sin phi is equal to cd by ft which implies cd is equal to ft sin phi and cos phi is equal to ob ob by f c which implies ob is equal to f c cos phi now substituting the value of ob and cd in this equation therefore f s is equal to f c cos phi minus f t sin phi now f 
n is equal to a e f n is equal to a e which is equal to a d plus a d plus d e and this a d is equal to b c which is equal to b c plus d e so f n is equal to b c plus d e now sin phi consider this triangle sin phi is equal to b c by f c therefore b c is equal to f c sin phi now consider this triangle cos phi is equal to d e d e by f t cos phi is equal to d e by f t therefore d e is equal to f t cos phi now substituting these two values in this equation f n is equal to f n is equal to b c value of b c is f c sin phi plus f t cos phi f c sin phi plus f t cos phi so we have another equation for f n so from this triangle tan phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to f n by f s therefore f s is equal to sorry f n is equal to f s tan phi plus beta minus alpha so this is another equation for f n so we got the relationship for fs and fn from shear force system and f and n from frictional force system thank you